Hello and welcome. Today I'd like to show you how to enter a listing on your new Agent Press site. The first thing, we will go to the dashboard and we'll click on listings and then on add new. Just highlight that extra line there and insert my listing title. I always like to format it as the street address and the town and the uh, province. And once you have that information filled in, you'll notice your permalink shows up. This is the permanent link for this listing. And it's very important just to note the structure. If ever you change this up here or if you made a spelling mistake, you would just click on edit, um, make your correction, and then click OK. And it would save that. Okay, so let's pop down here into our text editor. This is where you'll be entering your text. Now, I like to have the, the property description already typed out in a program such as Notepad, and uh, you can easy copy this text and place it into your text editor. And what this does, it drops the text in, but you're not copying any extra code. Okay, and once it has my text in, I'm just going to add a space, bring the cursor up here. And my next step will be to um, add a photo and select File. And I'll just pick a house picture here. And I'm going to tell it to use this as a feature image and to insert it in the post, the full size. Okay. And you'll notice if I scroll the page down that it inserted in, in the feature image. This is used here. You will see that as the featured image for your listing. We'll just go back to your, our editor here. Oops. You guys get to learn from all my little mistakes. I like to uh, see the text either left left align or um, fully justified. Um, this will have cleaner results, um, such as when it goes out to an email. If you um, center the text when someone receives your email notice of your new listing from your listing feeds, it's going to look a little, well, term that I like to call it, wanky in the email. So this kind of keeps it a little clean. Okay. And you'll notice the image. We're not centering the image. We're leaving that as it is. Now, the photo gallery. To do your photo gallery, we're going to upload our media. I'm going to go back to the little media icon here. Click on that. And select the file. And I have my, my photo setting all in one folder so I know where to, to go to get them. And I'm just going to grab all of these just for the demonstration. Let's look open. Takes a few moments to upload them. And I'm going to save all my changes. And this has just created a gallery of these uh, images. And I can edit the sort order if I want certain ones first. And I'm going to come down here and three images across. That's all right. And I'm just going to hit insert gallery. And that inserted your photo gallery. And I'm just going to hit publish. And I'm going to hit preview so you can have a look and see what that does. And that's created our listing. We have our title. There's my hitter. I don't have that formatted yet. And my image actually popped below that. I'll change that. There's my text. There's my photo gallery. And if I click on one of the photos, 
it opens up to this really nice light box effect and we can click through and view all them. I'll just exit out of that and I'll go back to our editor here and a little text here Cut. put it down here. Now I like to see these hitters a little bit bigger. So I'm going to use the hitting, maybe I'll try hitting three. Maybe I'll just edit those two for now. Hit update. Hit preview. See now I have my my hitter is a little bit bigger and it's uh, a little bit nicer looking. And let's go back to our listing. Now the next thing we want to do is scroll down. Is we want to fill in our property detail. The custom text um, will appear on your listing. I'll just show you where that goes. Oops, I should put my print here. Garage and place. And the address for now. I am just going to type some quick characters in here. Now I'm going to come back up to my text editor. Place my cursor where I want my property details to go and click here, send to text editor. This sends this little short code here. And if I update, in preview, what this does is sends this little table right here into your post. Come back and I want to style my hitter the same as the other one. Hitter three, okay, and update. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do, scroll down here, is I'm going to place a property map. I'm just going to close my property details. I'm going to come down here to um, Map Press, New Map, Add Location. I'm just going to type in a location that I know that it will find, just for demonstration purposes. Add. Let's locate that property. And you can get in and edit, and edit the information that's shown here in the little bubble. And I'm going to add a title. I'm just going to call this test map for now. Whoops. And I'm just going to hit save. And there's the name. And when we mouse over the name, we'll see edit, insert in the post. So I go up here, and wherever my cursor is placed, you come down here and hit insert in the post and you'll notice that it inserted the short code for your map. Oops. There's the right scroll bar here. Click update. Preview or change. Over here and as we scroll down just below the property details, you will see our map. Now I didn't style the hitter yet. Let's go back and do that. Now one extra thing I want to add in here. I don't need that because I'm going to grab it from the form. I'm going to show you how to add a contact form. This little icon right here. Click on that. And now this assumes we already have a form made for, for for us, and we do. There's one there. 
I'm going to tell it to display the form title and display the form description. I'm going to click insert and that places the short code for the gravity form. I'm going to click update. I'm just going to go back. Click update again. The preview. We have our preview here. We got our photo, the description, our photo gallery, property details, property map, and there's our contact form. Now I just want to go back, and we're not done yet. Now here's the important thing. We need to add any special features. For instance, if this place has a fireplace, I'm going to add that. We could have a pool. I'm just going to add that there. We're going to come down. We're going to select our status, but it's for sale. We're going to what price range it's in to be sorted in. What type of property, single family. What location, we chose Lindenberg. And last but not, not least, three bedrooms. And we we'll come up here. We're going to click on update. These categories here that I selected, those are used when a user performs a search. They want to search for all three bedroom properties, or all properties that's listed for sale, or all properties within a certain location. Preview. And there's your listing. There's your contact form. Okay, now if I go to my home page, you'll see there's the new listing we just put in, and of course I didn't fill in the addresses like I should have, but uh, this is what it would look like if you took the time to fill everything in correctly. The property description, our details, our photo gallery, a property map, and our contact us form. Okay? And then over here, when you uh, search, these are the little searches. Um, if I search for all single family dwellings and hit search property, it's going to pull up all my properties in that criteria. Oh, the little custom text where I filled in three car garage, that's where it shows up right here on the featured listing photo. Okay, that's it. I, uh, you folks have fun, um, play around with it, and, uh, be great to, uh, hear from you. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. Thanks and have a good day.